Hey everybody, it's Julie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home and patio here in Santa Monica, California. Happy Aloha Friday. It's Friday afternoon. I taught my morning classes and I'm about to teach my last private of the day. I have about half an hour to do some planting. So I thought it'd be a great idea to dedicate today's Planting with Julian's episode to my Sensivarias. There's a couple of Sensivarias that recently came into my collection. I would like to plant them up in today's video and maybe fix one of my existing ones. So if you guys love Sensivarias, let me know down in the comments below. And if you collect Sensivarias, how many of them do you have? I think that'd be really fun to see in the comments. So let's go ahead and do the first Sensivaria. This Sensivaria was purchased from my local flea market. It's looking kind of rough, so I do want to go ahead and do some pruning. I'm going to go ahead and... Do a few snips. So I'm just doing some trimming here. There's some brown edges. So I'm just cutting off the brown tips. Sensivarias are very low maintenance plants, but they do not like sitting in water. A bunch of them died. So this is kind of the new look. I think that looks great. I have an empty ice cream planter that I had in my collection. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly transplant. And I'm trying to have all of my Sensivarias in white planters that is the goal i do have one sense of area that is in a terracotta i'm going to try to see if i can switch it out in today's video so that they can be in all white planters i love seeing plants in all white planters if you watch my channel you know i have a big collection and although i love having all white planters it does get expensive so i like to try to keep my planter budget under 20 dollars a piece so I'm just lightly packing using my finger here so that it sips up right and I think that looks adorable. I think this is probably the smallest sense of area I have in my collection. So I have a planter here that's been empty now for maybe two weeks. There was a plant in here that got ruined by the rain and I think I got this one from maybe TJ Maxx Home Goods a while back. Now one of my sense of areas, my cylindrica, is in this same planter so i want to go ahead and pair up another sense of area in it so let me just put these little planters on the side and slow and careful loosen up the root system Ooh, okay this is fun looks like there might be a baby popping through two of them so I'm going to make sure that goes under the soil. It's the soil. On the bottom. And then let's check placement. I think this is going to work out well. Now there's another planter that I recently got from my Las Vegas haul. I'm thinking one or the other. I don't know. This could work too. Okay. I'm going to make a last minute decision here. So this is my other sense of area that is in a terracotta. Everything else is in white planters. See what looks best in what planter. I think I'm going to go this route. So the samurai is going to go in this first planter. We'll deal with that one in a second. Let's go ahead and place this guy into here. I think that's, that's so cute actually. Okay. Cute. I'm so glad I was able to use this planter. And originally when I bought this planter, I thought that this was probably going to have like a pothos or a philodendron in it but I really want to see all of my sense of areas potted up into white planters this week. So this is what I have currently sitting in my collection and I'm just going to use it for this. I think that works out well. What do you think? I think that's so cute. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more soil. Can't wait to see the babies pop up. It is on the chilly side, but I'm glad it's not raining because yesterday it rained. Okay. So I think this is the look. I think I like it like this. What do you guys think? Do you think this matches? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm, let me sit back and look at it. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. And maybe I can go ahead and switch out one of my sense of areas if I feel like I don't love the look. 
what do you guys think i'll leave it here for now and i'll i'll see how i feel about it in a couple of days i can always switch out my sense of areas for another sense of area to be placed in here that matches it but i want to say this is this is a look i'll think about it i think it looks great we'll see i'm gonna place this on the side and look at it over the weekend and then i'll make my final call but i think that looks great Okay, so here's my samurai. I can definitely now go ahead and transplant it into an all white planter. And I think I like it like this. So, my repurchased Sansevieria collection that I'm trying to rebuild because eight of them died in January from the rain while I was in Egypt. I think I'm making a strong comeback. There's definitely been some new sense of areas that got placed into my collection since I've been back. And maybe in the next two weeks or so, I'll do a Jolene's Collective video with my updated collection. So I think this is a look. That looks pretty good. That looks better already than in a terracotta. I'll place this on the side. Now moving along to my big project for today's video. Here is my big sense of area. I am dying to see what's going on in here. Okay, that came out pretty well. Now I do want to loosen up the root system here. So I'm just going to work the root ball with my hands. and see what's going on. I would like to take a baby or two from this if it allows me. And then we're gonna plant it up in my white planter. I have one more Walmart white planter available. But let's go ahead and just loosen up the root ball. I don't wanna even guess how old this plant is. It is a beast and it's so heavy. Okay, I think this is good. This is good. So here's what the root system looks like. And now I'm going to take a look at the plant and see where I can take a cutting from. Okay, so I think I'm going to take the cutting right here. This is a good one. So I want to get to the root ball and see where I can make the cut. So this is the perfect time to propagate. Definitely getting dirty. Hmm. All right. So I think I want to make the cut there. So I'm going to make a cut under the root ball here. So if you see right here, there is where the main part of the root ball is right here. So I'm going to make a cut right here and hopefully get a good cut. There it is. So here is one propagated baby. Set this on the side. Now this, all you have to do is let it callus over and then stick it in soil and it'll do great. And I think, hmm, I think I'm going to leave the rest. If anything, I could always propagate from here or I could propagate from here. So at least I know what it looks like. Oh no, this guy broke. Okay. All right, let's move quickly here before I ruin the plant. So I have my last Walmart planter here. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in. Ooh, this is a look. Love that. Bring up more soil here. So glad I was able to do this for the plant today because this has definitely been on my mind to pot him up and see what was going on with his root system. He's a big guy. And I have yet to come up with a name, so I'm going to think about it over the weekend. If you have any name suggestions. I would love to get a really cool name for this one. Okay, and this guy, he will not be transplanted. This is it for him. I think that looks great.
this is definitely the star of the collection besides my copper tone I think my copper tone my whale fin and this big guy is my favorite oh my goodness you guys take a look at this is this a look or what I know I got damaged here there's nothing I can do about it now but at least I have it planted up and it looks absolutely adorable guys here is the final look today's plant gang my sense of areas i think it looks absolutely stunning and i can't wait to see it ganged up with the rest all right guys that is going to wrap up today's video it's definitely a very fun feeling sense of area friday afternoon so glad i was able to put my samurai in an all white planter now the whole sense of area collection is very cohesive nice aesthetic white planters beautiful sense of areas this one was the only one in a terracotta i don't know how that happened but i think it looks great i was glad i was able to get a propagated baby my twist got into a new home i'm still contemplating on this guy so sound off down below what do you think about this sense of area and this round planter and if you guys enjoyed this video let me know what was your favorite pairing which sense of area and planter did you like the most i'd be very curious to know in the comments below all right so before i go ahead and wrap up today's video i want to do another plant friend shout out this is going to go to song yoon and this was posted up almost a week ago and this was probably on one of my plant hauls here it says hi julin just love watching your channel while i have my coffee every morning i believe the broken plant is called a lobster claw which by the way that's succulent i'll probably try to plant it up maybe after it's looking a little better because two of its legs fell off and it happened so thank you so much for supporting my channel song and thank you for making me a part of your morning routine i definitely love being able to share with you plant content on a daily like i said i do have videos go up live 5 a.m every morning so if you love plant videos and want to feel inspired on a daily subscribe to the channel and hope you guys enjoyed this video you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com i am going to head out and teach my last private client of the day and i am going to have the evening here in my patio and fix up my babies because i'm so glad i'm home for the weekend so i definitely want to go ahead and rearrange the babies because it got all shuffled up with the rain i'll see you guys tomorrow until next time aloha from santa monica california bye